Bottom of the ninth. Two out. Two strikes. Bases loaded. You can only imagine. Oh my God, what a day. John. What? Were you not listening to me? Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Danny. My mind is elsewhere. Do you know why? Because he went to see his chick last night. This is the greatest moment of my life. I'm sorry. The greatest moment of my life I'm sharing with you right now. I... I'm sorry. <laughs> you know something, big time? You're letting this girl thing get way out of hand. I mean, not for nothing. But you, my friend, are the one who was sitting in the driver's seat. I don't follow. Well, of course you don't. But that's why I'm here. Allow me, if you will, to familiarize you with the Rick Miller theory of women. If you have to go to the bathroom or anything, you should go now. Okay, look it. The only woman a guy like you should have anything to do with is the one that has already been divorced. Now, stick with me, stick with me, because the problem here is that you're a nice guy. And young single women are not attracted to nice guys. They're attracted to guys who dump on them. It's true, I have no idea why, whether it's fear of rejection, poor self-worth, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, young single women find themselves most attracted to guys who are, for all intents and purposes, assholes. And what's more, these women think that if they just love these assholes enough, that sooner or later they'll stop being assholes and start bringing home candy and flowers and shit. And taking on a grand scale, these women think that if they just marry the assholes, that the joys of married life will mellow them and cause them to change. <laughs> now, you and I, the three of us, know what the chances of something like that happen are, right? But women are clueless. They have no idea. So they go ahead and they marry the assholes anyway. Then not about six months after the wedding day, they wake up one morning and they realize that this guy snoring on the pillow next to them not only is he still an asshole, but things are looking pretty goddamn certain that he's going to remain that way. That's when they call their lawyers, and those assholes start feeding off the, those other assholes. It's just a matter of time, but this is where you come into play, big time. Because now that a woman is experienced living with a slug, she will go out of her way to land a nice guy like you. And you'll be appreciated for being who you are. Plus, of course, she comes with a car and money she fleeced in the previous guy. Nice theory, but if it's true, how come you're not with a divorced woman? Excuse me. Daniel, am I being too subtle here? Because I'm one of those assholes! Come on, I'm playing my role perfectly in the grand scheme of things. I can vouch for that, John. Rick is a bona fide fucking asshole. Oh, it's true. I don't ever walk on eggshells. I say exactly what's on my mind, and I'm always the one who's in control. And you want to know what? No matter how big a jerk I am, and no matter how selfishly I go about getting what I want, for some reason, they still want me. I am human cocaine. But we're getting off the subject here. Because, you see, the fact of the matter is, Michael doesn't give a shit. You, however, you are in love with the woman. Oh, come on, will you? I live with you, remember? You're not eating well, you hardly ever sleep, you got all the symptoms. You are in love with Annie Madison, and it is scaring the shit out of you. And if you remember one thing from our conversation out here, please let it be this. The moment you start loving a woman, you can begin counting the days until that bitch walks right out the front door on you. Yes, Daniel? I'm finding this very illuminating right now, Rick. You are on a roll. Continue. Right, but well, you gotta cheer up here big time. Because the fact of the matter is, you couldn't be sitting in a prettier position. How do you figure? Because I know Michael and I know Ann, and Ann's not a masochist. She ain't gonna put up with Michael's crap for long. I give it eight months, max. And then she's gonna realize what a super find you were, and she's gonna come crawling back, and you will finally be appreciated for being the nice guy that you are. Plus, in the meantime, she will have spent time with Michael. And of course, that means she will have been exposed to such a wide variety of sexual positions and prefer Rick. Pull it. He, he gets the picture. It's pretty well thought out. But angry, Rick. 
very, very angry. Who broke Rick's heart? Somebody break Rick's heart? Oh. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> 